All right, what's going on, everyone? It's Bit Savage, and I'm back. I'm an artist now. <laughs> Our platform is going live. A uh, door will open, and it's kind of the pre alpha Genesis. I'm going to just create some art. I might sell these as tokens. You know, I'm experimenting right now. So, this is the first one. This is like the Genesis video. Make it a Genesis video token. So, we're going to, I'm using uh, Blender, and I'm going to come right in here and have fun. You know, this is, I love the behind the scenes process. So what I want to do is I want to delete this cube and make a new cube. So yeah, I love the behind the scenes process. So I'll say, you know what? Why don't I just create something um, behind the scenes? So this is what we're doing. <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm actually going to make, I have an idea. I want to make a box. So let's see if we can do that. There we go. Bam. So I'm thinking of making a box. That's cool, right? So let's make let's get a material for this box. Now my camera. There we go. It's in the way. Let's see if we can get a material for this box. Now a little bit backstory behind me. I'm a filmmaker, I'm a storyteller, and you know I love I love telling stories in interesting ways. Um so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm telling the story in an interesting way. And let's take down this roughness. Ooh, it's looking good already. So, so Blender, like the crypto art space, the 3D, the virtual art, the just the integration of virtual reality, you know, call it what you want, COVID, pandemic, pandemic, scandemic. It's uh, really fast tracked. A lot of things in a digital space. Uh, I gotta come up here and I gotta turn on the screen space reflections. Cool. Actually, let me see something. Because I can I wanted to test this out. Say if I take this off. Now what if I go to let me see where is it at? Where's my I think my shader? Yeah. First let's slide over here and let's better come back down here. Add a color. Add new. Come over here. So, There's a lot of stuff to do in this program. Um, but I want to add, let's see a shader. Let's see if we add a glass. <clears throat> glass shader, what does that do? Turns it pink. All right, let's take that off. Now, what if we add a different kind of shader? <sighs> a glossy shader. Turns it pink. Now, there's there's a reason why it's turned pink. What if I turn that off? Nope. <laughs> it doesn't do it. So, that's why. So, instead of doing that, I'm just going to go back to here, to here use this material and yes that's what we're gonna do bam so we're gonna make a box now I want to do another box inside of this box where's my camera there we go all right so we're gonna go another cube and what we're gonna do is scale this up a little bit and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna take off this top delete the face so you see our other cubes inside that cube now I can take this cube and just raise it up. All right, cool. So I'm I'm freestyling right now, just kind of just to let you know this is freestyle. So I'm gonna give this a material as well. So let's give this now. I love different materials. Let's see. I want to make this. Let's make it black. Yeah, I love different materials. Um, let me see how this is looking, actually. So we're going to come over. Let's make this a black world. And we need some light. Let there be light. Oh, where's the light? Where's my light? I, I, Kobe, my man. Kobe, I have no light. Can you guys, let me know if you can hear me. Leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of NFTs you love. Let me know the kind of virtual art you love. Um, we need some light right now. There we go. Let's get some light. Bring that up. Let's bring it out. Let's turn this. Let's turn up the light, man. I need some light. Let's give it a thousand. Oh, let's give it. Let's give it some light. There we go. Actually, we need a lot more light than that. So what I'm gonna do is go back to this cube and go back to the color. So see, it's all about the the the, di the dimensions. What you do, and I may give this away to everyone that's tuned in right now. We'll see. 
we'll see. But I know this this just needs light, man. So look, we gotta take this here. We gotta take this light. We need another light there. We need another light there. If you love this behind the scenes process, let me know. Um, instead of Patreon, I want to sell tokens. You can buy in one of my Adore tokens. I'm uh, yeah. Did I tell you about Adore? So we're on. I'm on or a part of the Adore team. If you buy an Adore token, you'll get a lot of these a lot of these NFTs for free. Essentially, you know, just buy an Adore token. I'm gonna see who has it in their wallet. And I'm gonna be airdropping things. Um, I may have to speed up this video to make it an NFT, uh, but we'll we'll go with it. All right. So what we gotta do? So we gotta go to this light. Let's raise it up. Bring it back, and let's kind of rotate it. Ooh. So you gotta you gotta have it in the direction of what you wanna light up. You know, you can't just have something there and have no light. All right, now this is it. Everything's in the way. Take it out the way. This is what you're going to see in the final edit. Now let's click on this and bring it down. So now, what can we do? We can put something inside of this box. How about we put a, a iconosphere? Ooh, that's cool. Look at that. Ooh, that looks funky. Let's give this a color. How about we make it a golden ball? Let's make it gold. What if we do that? Something like that. Again, when I when I create this stuff, every time I create something in this program, I want to make a video and sell it. Or not sell it, but make a video and give it away. So I'm going to just give these away. Go ahead. I'll put a link below of where you can get your door token. And we have an event going on. Gotcha Pond event. So if you get a Gotcha Pond token and a door token, you're going to get these uh, behind the scenes creation videos airdropped to you. And... Uh, there's a campaign. You're gonna get some art from everyone in the Gotcha Pond event. There's over 20 artists in that event. Check it out. So we're gonna do this. Should I make it rougher or should I make it like shiny? You can play around with these adjustments. Let me know if you want tutorials. I may do tutorials as well. So let's go back to the camera. Turn it off. So look at that. You got a ball inside of there. Now my camera can't see all of that, so. Got to go to camera, and I got to zoom out some. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There, you got to zoom out some. So make sure you have everything in frame that you want to see. And let's go to camera. So this this is what I'm going to see. Ooh, it's going to come out. Now, ooh, see, I love doing this video because I'm I'm creating for my imagination. And I kind of had a thought of what I want to do, but I'm I'm just let me see. Let's add this bezier circle can't see it Let's see it a little bit more size it up and we're gonna go to the curve of it and the geometry let's give it some depth offset it a little bit and let's bring this up and we're gonna give this a color of a emission there we go let's turn it up let's turn it up now here's a little trick I mean it may not be a trick you may know this but let's turn off that this is what you're gonna see Let's go to bloom. Ooh, you see that? I like it. So let's turn it down a little bit. Let's turn it down in intensity. And that's I'm done. <laughs> so no, I'm not done. Um, let's go back to the camera view. There we go. Turn it off. Let's go scale it down a little. So now I gotta go up top. Everything's lined up. I didn't move from the origin, so everything's lined up, which is cool. You most likely you want to stay on the origin. Don't don't travel around this whole where's it at you got you got this whole space you can create in stay on the origin stay there so you can uh, keep things fixed but you can move off the origin if you're advanced all right this video is almost over uh, let's go back to here these are the properties now I can add some color let's say if we want to go here say if we want to take this box and make it hmm, let's go up Ooh, let's go here let's go here oh I like it I like that now why is this glowing why is this box glowing well here's why I don't know why <laughs> why is my box glowing all right maybe it's the light you think so it's possibly the light reflecting off of it we got these area lights we got this glass 
All right, cool. So we did that. Now I want to know why my. Oh, let's see if this works. Why is ooh, red box special? I like that. There we go. I think it's the bloom effect. It's giving me some light. All right, cool. So we got that. We got that. Let's take down that bloom a little bit. There we go. Nice. Oh, who wants this? Leave a comment below. Let me know if you want it. I sell my art uh, right now on Rarible. Um, let's animate this. All right, let's move this camera. Let's do, let's just do that many frames. And I need to see my timeline. Where's my timeline? At? Let's move this up. There we go. So this is my timeline. Now I can go to zero. Let's go to the camera. Now say if I wanted to start that up top there. That's my that's your circle. I got my iconosphere. I can start that down there. And I can animate it just by setting go to the Bezier get the keyframe. Right here. Here we go. Bam. And location is gonna be Z. So on my Z axis. I can start there. Go forward a couple seconds, maybe one second, two seconds. Bring it down. And set another keyframe. Bam. And it's animated. Oh, we have magic people. Alright, so stop that. So once that sets there, how about we go a second before and we go to iconosphere and do a keyframe and then we go here and we bring it up. There we go. Bam. So we brought it up. So let's see if we did it right. Yep, there we go. So that's there you go. I made something, I animated it, made it glass. Now, how about this? What if we do start at 59? Where's it at? Yeah, right, right here. At 60, what if we do a rotation? A rotational uh Okay. There we go. Let's just ro rotate just a little bit. Let's see how that looks. That comes down. That's coming up and it's spinning just ever so slightly. And look at that. That's oh man, I love that. I love the uh, the slow spin. It's like it's in a a case now. I want to bring this down. And should I add a background? Now that's it's up to you. If you want to add a background, this allows you to focus on just the object here. You know, I'm all about composition, lighting. I love just all the aspects you can do in Blender. I love interior design. I love a lot of things. So Blender allows me to use a lot of those uh, different things. So we animated it, and I can just render this now. That's that's an art piece. I can sell this for an ether. <laughs> or I can make... I want to see how many people watch this video, how many like it. Make sure you add the... Uh, or join the outdoor community. Let me know. I'll leave Trust Wallet. Make sure you get that link below for the Trust Wallet. And I'm going to see how many people respond. And I made mint. If it's 10 people, mint 10 of them. If it's 100 people, I'll mint 100 of them. So this is the Genesis piece, actually. So I'm going to mint this and I'm going to mint the video, behind the scenes video. So thanks for tuning in. Again, check out Adore. The Gotcha Pond event is going on right now. Go to Adore.org on Twitter. Um, yeah, and I so I animated that. We can bring this back down. And there's there's a lot of stuff you can do in this program. That was just something very simple and easy. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm gonna render this. Let me see. I gotta go in here to go to the render settings. We're gonna do. Ooh, should we do a GLB file? Should I make this 3D? All right. I'm not gonna go into all that right now. But the encoding, we're gonna put that on. You can usually do. You can do web. You can do flash, you can do OGG, MP4 is cool. You can want to do perceptually lossless. It's a lot of things you can do in here for the settings. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. And I'm going to be back with a lot more. This is just the beginning, baby. Thanks for everyone that's been along on the ride. Bit Savage, we're back. All right, I'll be talking soon. Peace.